All right, in today's feature walkthrough video, we're going to start by showing you how to set up Android Enterprise. In this setup, we'll show you the Google Admin Console settings and Android EMM registration and explain how to configure it in a Workspace ONE UEM console. Then we'll go over certain enrollment settings where we'll talk about user base and device based enrollment when it comes to work managed enrollment types. Then we will see the difference between a fully managed device enrollment, which will be first work managed device and then corporate, corporate owned personally enabled. And finally, we will show some Android Enterprise profile payloads and see some of the latest enhancements that we've added to Android Enterprise. So as far as initial Android EMM registration for Android Enterprise, you can start managing your Android devices by registering the Workspace ONE UEM as your Enterprise Mobility Management or EMM provider with Google. In the Getting Started page in the Workspace ONE UEM console, it is provided with a step-by-step -step solution to help you configure the enterprise management tools that you need to secure and manage your device fleet. Or you can go directly to this page in all settings under device and users, Android, Android EMM registration. And then in this page, you'll be able to enter your Google admin email address here and register it with Google. Then you'll be able to save it. Also test the connection to make sure that everything went well. As you see here, service account set up successful. And also if you have any issues and it's not successful, you can always clear the settings and try again with a different Gmail account or the same one. Now, before we get into the enrollment settings, let's talk a little bit about the difference between work profile and work managed device modes. Now, the work profile will be a special type of administrator that's going to be primarily for a bring your own device or BYUD use case. So when the user already has that personal device that's configured with their own Gmail account, then Workspace ONE UEM enrollment will create a work profile where it's going to install the Workspace ONE intelligent hub. Workspace ONE UEM will only control the work profile side on the device. Managed applications will install inside the work profile and they will display a briefcase badge which will differentiate them from your personal applications. Now for the work managed enrollments, the work managed device applies to devices enrolled from an unprovisioned state or factory reset state and that's recommended for the corporate owned devices. And that is because Workspace ONE Intelligent Hub will be installed during the setup process from the factory reset and it will be set as the device owner, which means that the Workspace ONE UEM will have complete full control of the entire device. Now, when you're pushing a profile for the Workspace ONE UEM console, the profiles will display different tags to know which ones are pushing to which. So they will be tagged with work profiles and work managed devices. Let's take a look at some of the work managed enrollment types, which are non G Suite only. The first one we have is user based, and this one is the preferred or most used method. And that's when a specific user will need to be associated with the device. And it also allows for optimal, optimal app license allocations. If you want device based, it will be more for use case such as kiosk mode. We also have the AOSP closed network, which we will be creating another video separate on that subject. Now, since we explained earlier what the work managed uh, enrollment is for the devices, in order to configure it, you would come under this configuration here in enrollment setting and under the fully managed device enrollment, you will select work managed device, which will be locked down completely, which will provide the user with access to only the corporate applications and no access to any personal applications through the Google Play Store on the device. The second option for the fully managed device enrollment is the corporate owned personally enabled or COPY. In this case, you will still have complete device management, but the users will still get a work profile in order to access corporate apps, but still have access to their personal Google Play Store outside of the work profile. This is only for Android version, version 8.0 and later. 
There are several ways to enroll Copy devices or corporate owned personally enabled devices. We're only going to show you one today, but feel free to check out documentation for more. But the different ways that we have are using AirWatch Relay to in order to perform an NFC bump. Uh, you can also use unique identifier or token code when you're setting up the device from the factory state. Also scan in a QR code, which we will be showing in just a second. And finally, using zero touch enrollment. In order to perform a copy enrollment with QR code, you will need to go to your workspace when you EM console and go to devices, lifecycle, staging, then list view, and then click on configure enrollment. Then we will choose Android, obviously. Then we will choose QR code and then configure. After that, you have multiple choices here. You don't have to configure a Wi-Fi at all, or you can configure an open Wi-Fi or a secure WPA or WPA2. We're just going to choose none for this one. Then we go next and we choose what you want to be installed, which for most use cases, people will use the latest workspace one intelligent hub, or you can host it on an internal URL. We are going to use the latest workspace one intelligent hub. Then we click next. Then we go to the enrollment details where you can configure the organization group to be automatically in, onto the device. You can configure the login credentials and you can also choose if you want to enable or disable the system applications and also force closed network enrollment or AOSP. After that, we click next. Then we'll get the uh, final summary, which will give us the option to either download the file or view the PDF where the QR code is. Make sure if you view the PDF to keep it open if you want to use it further, because after you close it, you cannot get that same one back. So let's go ahead and view PDF, which will give us the enrollment QR code that you will use in your copy enrollment when doing the factory reset enrollment. Now let's take a look at a copy enrollment with QR code, what it looks like. So here you will see that I will just put the QR code on the camera of the device. Then the setup will start, we'll accept and continue. Then it'll be setting up our work device. Usually takes a couple minutes. You'll see here we'll turn the device back on. It asks us if we want to allow the hub to uh, manage our device. Then you see the URL and the group ID were already pre-populated here because we set them up on the console within the QR code. Here we have the username and password, but as you saw, you could have those pre-populated as well if you'd like, depending on your use case. After that, we have authentication is successful. Authentication is successful. The next step, we have a couple agreements that you agree and understand. Then the settings are retrieved and then the work profile is being set up. And also the work account registration is happening as well. Then when all of that is done, we are enrolled. And if you go, for example, to the work play store, you will see all your work applications available for you to use. All right, last but not least, let's check out some of the profile payloads that we have available for Android Enterprise for work profile and work manage as well. We're going to go to add, add profile, choose Android. And from there, we can go to general tab in order to name our profile, uh, assign them to specific smart groups, assign the type to automatic or allow removal, etc. Let's take a look at the passcode payloads. So we have a couple here where for work profile, we can set up a work passcode. So this passcode will only be enforced on the work side of the device when you're enrolled into the work profile mode and also applies to cope. And in this one, you can set up your minimum passcode length, the passcode content type, the maximum number of failed attempts, etc. A wide variety of options. 
Then we also have the ability to enable the device passcode policy, which will be for the whole device as well. And keep in mind that you can set both those up. You can set up one for the whole device. And also after you log into the device, you can set a passcode for your work profile as well. Let's take a look at the restrictions payload, which will give us a better understanding from what we spoke about earlier with the different tags between work managed and work profile types of payloads. In here, you'll see some restrictions that you can apply to the work managed device, which is also with Copy, or only to the work profile, and also many, many ones that have it for both. So, uh, for example, here we have allow factory reset for work managed devices, but not for work profile, because this allows us to prevent the user from factory resetting the device, and we don't support it for work profile because Android won't let an EMM user resetting their own device. And now if we scroll down, there are multiple categories and multiple restrictions available to you. For example, for applications, if you want to allow camera or not allow it, you can do it for both work managed devices and work profile devices. And you have multiple ones here that sometimes only for work managed and not work profile, such as whitelist applications that can utilize widgets. Then we have sync and storage, which are mainly for work managed devices, except for the allow US debugging. Then we go to the very important network category as well, which you see work manage as most of them, but also on the work profile, you can allow outgoing Bluetooth connections and also allow NFC bumps. Then we have the last sections, which is the work and personal, which this one applies to work profiles only, where it gives you a variety of restrictions to how the communication between the personal side and the work side uh, act with each other. So if someone wants to copy a document on the work side and paste it on the personal side, are they able to or not? There are many, many more payloads that you can use for Android Enterprise that can apply to both work manage and work profile. I invite you to check them all out in this profile for Android. Please feel free to ask any questions on this feature walkthrough video and also keep a lookout for a video we are working on now on application management for Android Enterprise.